topic is about direct and indirect speech. This uh, lesson, in this lesson, we are going to discuss how to change sentences from direct to indirect speech. Ito yung item sa mga exam na nahihirapan ang mga estudyante kasi nalilito. Pag uh, paano magpalit ng tense from present or from past into different tenses. Alright, we have two kinds of quotations. First, we have direct quotation, and the other one is indirect quotation. Now, what is direct quotation? Direct quotation represents a person's exact words or thoughts, and is enclosed with quotation marks. Pag sinabi natin direct quotation, ito yung mismong sinasabi, word by word, o yung iniisip ng tao. Ito ay may kasamang quotation marks. Example, The President said, I will ask the Congress to appropriate funds for the earthquake victims. Alright. This uh, words enclosed with quotation marks is our quotation from the President. Notice we have here used the uh, Open quotation mark and the close quotation mark. Now, indirect quotation gives only the general idea or meaning of what a person said or thought and does not need a quotation mark. Pag sinabi natin indirect quotation, ito yung uh, nilalaman o idea o ibig sabihin kung ano yung sinasabi. Pero hindi yan... Uh, hindi ito gumagamit ng quotation mark. At kadalasan, ito ay nababago. Yung words. Example, The President said that he would ask the Congress to appropriate funds for the earthquake victims. Alright. Dito, gumamit na tayo ng that at nawala na yung quotation mark. Alright. Here are the general rules for changing direct speech. From direct to indirect. Number one, remove all commas and quotation marks. Dapat tinatanggal ang comma at quotation marks. Number two, no change is required to be made in the verb of reported speech if the reporting speech is in the present tense or future tense. Kapag ang reported speech ay or rather, ang reporting speech ay nasa present tense or future tense, hindi na binabago. Ang binabago lamang ay kapag nasa past tense. Alright, example of direct speech. He says, I am tired. Alright, itong word na he says, this is our reporting speech. And, ito naman, I am tired, this is our reported speech. So, here, our sentence is divided into two parts. We have the first part, reporting speech, and then the other one, the reported speech, ito yung quoted. Ito yung my quotation mark. And notice, dito, ang verb natin ay send, uh, present tense. We have, we have a comma here, and then after the comma, space, and then open quotation mark. Now, for indirect speech, he says that he is tired. Now, notice here, na wala yung kama natin dito. Wala ng kama. After says, we use that. And then, we did not use the quotation mark. And, our verb is also in the present tense. Okay. Example for that is peace. She says Albert was wrong. Alright, our verb here is in the present tense. And for indirect speech, she says that Albert was wrong. Okay. Sa present tense, dito, ang verb natin ay, ang ating reporting speech ay nasa present tense. And then, Dito, hindi na bago ang ating uh, sentence. Albert was wrong. Albert was wrong. Ano bago lang dito ay may kama. Dito may kama, dito wala. And then dito may quotation mark. 
dito naman ay wala. Instead, we use that. Next, you say I will return tomorrow. So in that speech, you say that you will return tomorrow. Okay. Present tense pa rin ito. Present tense, hindi na bago. You see? Hindi na bago dito. Hindi rin na bago. Alright, let us proceed now to first rule. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, kapag daw ang reporting verb natin ay nasa past tense, and the reported verb, yung kasunod ah, is in the present tense, change it into past tense. Example. They said, ito ang ating reporting verb, yeah, said. Ang said ay past tense. And then, they take quiz every day. Ang take natin ay ang ating verb sa reported. Uh, to, reported verb natin ay take. Ang reporting verb ay said. According to our rule, if the reporting verb is in the past tense, like this, and the reporting verb is in the present tense, katulad nito, Change it into past tense. Gagawin na natin past tense ito, like this. In direct speech, they said that they took. Ang take ay magiging took. Notice, na wala yung kama. And then, after, instead na kama, we use the word that. And then, yung capital letter dito, magiging small letter, mawawala yung quotation mark. And then, yung verb natin, sa reported verb, ay magiging past tense. Next, if the reporting verb is in the past tense, ah, pag nasa past tense pa rin yung reporting verb, and the reported verb, yung kasunod naman, is in the present continuous tense or present uh, present continuous tense, in other words, this is also called uh, present, uh, what's this? Present continuous tense, change it into past continuous tense. Papalatan natin ito ng past continuous tense. Example, they said they are taking quiz every day. Alright, ang ating reporting verb ay nasa past tense. And then, our reported verb dito ay nasa present continuous tense tense. So, according to our rule, change it into past continuous tense. May higing past ito. It will become like this. They said that they were taking quiz every day. Yung are magiging were. And notice, yung kama mawawala. And then, quotation mark mawawala. Instead, meron tayong dot dito. Okay, next. If the reporting verb is in the past tense, oh, past tense ulit, and the reported verb is in the present perfect tense, na, pa, present perfect tense na, change it into past perfect tense. Example, they said they have taken quiz already. Have taken is a present perfect. So, gagawin natin itong past perfect. Ito ay magiging had, like this. They said they that they had taken quiz already. Okay. Ang difference lang dito, ang have ay magiging had. This is in the past perfect tense. Notice, this happens only if our reporting verb is in the past tense. Ito, nasa past tense tayo. Next. If the, if the reporting verb is in the past tense again, and the reporting verb, uh, I mean, reported verb, is in the present perfect continuous tense, change it into past perfect continuous tense. From present perfect continuous to past perfect continuous tense. Example. They said they have been taking quiz already. This is our present perfect continuous. Itong have been taking. To change that, to become like this, in direct speech. They said that they had been taking quiz this afternoon. Ang have ay magiging had. This is in the past perfect continuous tense. Notice the same pattern pa rin. Kung mawawala yung kama. And then, after said, meron tayong that. And then yung capital letter dito, magiging small letter, mawawala rin yung quotation mark. 
Next. If the reporting verb is in the past tense again, and the reported verb is in the past tense, past tense then, huh? change it into past perfect tense, like this. They said they took quiz already. Took is in the past tense. And then, to change that, they said that they had taken quiz already. Ang took, ay gagawin natin, had taken. This is in the past perfect tense. Again, this rule is applied if our reporting verb is in the past tense like this, said. Okay. Next. If the reporting verb is in the past tense and the reported verb is in the past continuous tense, past continuous naman dito, change it into past perfect continuous tense. Papalitan natin ang past perfect continuous tense. Like this. They said they were taking quiz already. We're taking is our past continuous tense. Then change it into they said that they had been taking quiz already. Had been taking is our past, perf uh, past perfect continuous tense. Next. If the verb, I mean, if the reporting verb is in the past tense, and the reported verb is in the past perfect or past perfect continuous tense, no change is needed. Kapag ang verb daw natin sa reporting, uh, reporting verb natin ay nasa past tense, and yung kasunod naman is in the past perfect or past perfect continuous tense, no change is needed. Hindi na kailangan baguhin. Example, they said th they had taken quiz already. So it become like this. They said that they had taken quiz already. Nothing is changed except for the comma here. Wala nang comma rito. And then we add that. And then no quotation mark. And then small letter lang dito. Next. If the reporting verb is in the past tense again. And the reported verb is in the future tense. No change is needed except that will and shall are changed into would. Ang will at saka shall ay magiging would. That is, kung ang ating reported verb ay nasa future tense. Example, they said, itong said natin, nasa past tense ito ha, and then, they will take quiz tomorrow. Will take is future tense. So, ang sabi rito, Ang will ay magiging would. They said that they would take quiz tomorrow. Ang definition dito, ang will ay magiging would. Other than that, it, it is the same. Now, if you have learned something in this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, click the notification bell in order to be updated, and of course, please share also. Thank you very much for watching. See you again.